So today I've got a really interesting lighting solution that I think you might find pretty cool. So stay tuned. So there's a good chance you may have already seen this setup a couple years ago. I think they had a, uh, well they did have a uh, really popular Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I think that's how you say it, uh, campaign to bring this solution to like third world countries. And uh, it's interesting because the idea behind this is just, it's gravity. It's uh, Gravity turns this light on, as you'll see here in just a second. Uh, but the backstory, the reason that the guys decided who, the team that decided to uh, build the solution was that there's like over a billion people every day that use like the kerosene lamps. And the sad thing about those are is that they let off some serious, serious like toxins into the air, like metals and stuff. And uh, a lot of people like in Africa are living in a really confined space. So <clears throat> uh, this kind of blew me away when I heard this, but the whole idea, uh, what happens is if, you, if you're in a confined space with kerosene lighting, uh, it's the equivalent of smoking about two packs of cigarettes a day to your lungs. So it's pretty devastating. So enough of that, I'll show you how it works. Sorry for all the weird camera angles in here. I'm actually in my four foot wide cabin. It's four feet long, 16 feet wide. So if you're not a subscriber here on the channel, this might be the first time you've seen it. So a while back, was it last year, my good friend Deke did a tour of his, of his cabin called the cheer stand. It's like a play on a deer stand, haha. <laughs> and uh, so anyways, if you wanna take a tour of it, just click on the card right here and that'll take you to it. So to make the solution actually work, we have to put, I think it's 26 pounds of rock in here. And the rock we're using is this, uh, what we have in the driveway here for gravel, it's just like busted up. These used to be bricks and homes. You can see like the design. Some of them you can see where it says like 1882. So from like old chimneys and stuff, really cool. Um, but anyways, we're gonna use this to fill up the 26 pounds to get the gravity to turn the lights on. So let's do that. So the one thing I like about this solution is that it's energy on demand. Um, most alternative energy solutions like wind, you have to wait for the wind to come. <laughs> and for sun, the sun has to be out. Uh, the only, which is going to be my favorite, I can't wait to get into it one day, the only alternative energy that's like pretty much on demand other than something like this is uh, water. So if I ever get to fulfill my dream and have like a cabin in the mountain somewhere on a stream, you, for sure I'm going to have like a uh, water turbine there to collect water 24-7. Imagine being like a 10 year old little kid in Africa or Asia or some third world country like and your whole life you've been breathing kerosene fumes in to do work or like help your mom clean or wash dishes and then like something like this just shows up at your door. Can you imagine the excitement? And we have light. You can see how it's kind of flickering so I think we need a little bit more. So that looks like it's not flickering anymore. You'll notice that if you pull down on the bag the light does kind of get a little bit brighter. Uh, but I think the problem with that is if you do it too heavy, it'll reduce the amount of time uh, that it takes to get all the way back down, which on the um, instructions, I think it's 20 minutes. So not real great. If I had one gripe about this thing would be the amount of time that it, you know, between uh, having to pull, which I'll show you how to do that. You might be saying right now, okay, wow, there's a big light hanging in the middle of the place. What about on the opposite ends of the room? Uh, let's up the cool points, just one more, maybe two notches. The package comes with two extra lights that you could string up on opposite ends of the room and it feeds off the energy from the actual stones or rocks or whatever falling. So let's hang those up and see what it does uh, to the whole, I guess, mood of the room. different settings so like if you want to turn this one off and keep those on or turn the main light off and keep these two on different settings like little kill switches I just looked at the instructions and apparently you're supposed to put the rocks inside of these paper bags oh well Oh, and hook your boy up with a thumbs up. See ya. Peace.